Hi, my name is Praveen Srinivasan, and I'm a tech lead and manager for perception object detection at Aurora. Today, I'll be talking about how the Aurora driver perceives the environment around it. Let's dive in. The Aurora driver must understand the environment around it, reason about other actors in it, determine the appropriate course of action, and execute that action in a safe way. Our perception system, powered by deep learning, provides an unparalleled understanding of the surrounding environment allowing for precise decision-making in real-world scenarios. Let's explore how Aurora's perception system leverages the complementary capabilities of multiple sensors and combines it with deep learning to produce a rich understanding of the world around the Aurora driver. Aurora's perception system is powered by three task-specific deep learning modules. Sensor to Tensor, which is our detection engine, Sensor to Adjustment, which is a recurrent tracker, and Remainder Explainer, which helps explain everything else in the environment that the driver needs to care about. These are combined in an object persistence engine to provide seamless understanding to the driver. Today, we're talking about one part of our perception system, Sensor to Tensor, our deep learning detection module that uses sensor fusion to learn and infer from multiple sensor modalities, creating a deep understanding of the world around the Aurora driver. Our state-of-the-art early fusion approach preserves the complementary strengths of different sensor modalities and progressively fuses them along with map information into a common view that allows us to produce high quality detections of actors like pedestrians, vehicles, and cyclists in full 3D and at very long ranges. One challenge with sensor fusion is that different sensors have different resolutions and views of the world. Sensor to Tensor progressively extracts and stores information from the different sensor views of the world and brings them into a common 3D representation we call the Euclidean Tensor View. LiDAR data is projected into two views, the 3D Euclidean View and a wraparound range view. Projecting LiDAR data into two views gets the most out of the sensor's capabilities. The Euclidean View gives us precise 3D and velocity information and the range view makes most of the azimuthal resolution and long range capabilities of the sensor. Note the LiDAR points from the actor ahead of the truck. Radar is projected into a Euclidean view while extracting Doppler velocity information. Note the green on the vehicle ahead of us. These radar points provide us velocity information. We also combine image data from all the cameras on our vehicle. In this case, we are showing just one image for simplicity. We also leverage our existing map data to enrich our perception system's output. Here, map data is rasterized into a similar Euclidean view that matches the other Euclidean view grids. The result from just the raw data inputs is that we have complementary sensor data in three views, Euclidean view, range view, and the camera image. Each view contains valuable and unique information that will ultimately contribute to a holistic representation of the Aurora driver's surroundings. To extract that valuable information from each view, these data inputs are put through what we call a neural convolution engine. Our neural convolution engine harnesses the power of deep learning to process the incoming sensor data. Here is an animation of the neural convolution engine and how it creates an enriched view of the world around the Aurora driver. Euclidean tensor views from LiDAR, radar, and map data get stacked into a tensor that is processed by the neural convolution engine to produce intermediate Euclidean tensor view features. Similarly, range view inputs are processed by their own neural convolution engine to produce intermediate range view features. Image data inputs are fused with the range view features using a proprietary image fusion engine to produce a range view enriched by both image and LiDAR inputs. Ultimately, we want to produce detections in a Euclidean view to provide rich and detailed 3D information. We do this using a Euclidean ray scatter engine that transfers points from our range view data into the Euclidean space. Each pixel in range view precisely corresponds to a point in 3D. Features corresponding to the pixel in the range view are traced back to their location in 3D and then placed in the appropriate cell in the Euclidean view. This process is repeated for each pixel in the range view in an instant, generating a corresponding Euclidean tensor view from range data. Ultimately, we have migrated the information captured in range view into the Euclidean view tensors that can now be fused with other Euclidean feature maps originating from the other sensor modalities. At this point, feature maps from all sensor modalities are in the Euclidean tensor view. They can now all be stacked together again and again processed by a neural convolution engine 
to produce high quality 3D detections. The detections include properties of the object such as velocity, width, height, length, category, and uncertainties on position for each detection. This creates a representation of the world around us that is rich in data derived from various sensor inputs. Our deep learning detection engine allows us to accurately construct the world around our driver. Combined with our other two task-specific deep learning modules, along with an object persistence engine, we are able to seamlessly track detected actors on the road and reason about them. Thank you for your time today. We hope you enjoyed learning about how the Aurora driver perceives the environment around it.